All right, good morning, Cougars and Huskies. Uh, I got some exciting news. I know some of you were probably pretty bummed with school being uh, canceled the rest of the year, which meant no field day. Well, we are going to participate in National Field Day, and um, kids all across the country are going to be doing this. And so what this is going to look like is I'm going to have every week, I'm going to post on my canvas, and Mrs. Norton's going to do the same at Goldbart, um, five new activities. And over the next two to three weeks, you can practice those activities. And then by May 8th, that's our field day day, it's a Friday, um, you get to pick at least four activities to do during that time. You can do all of them if you want. These are all, um, acti are all activities that have equipment that you should be able to find things mostly around home. If you can't find it, well, pick a different one. That's okay. Or come up with something that'll work. Um, I am going to sh the one I'm going to show you today involves paper airplanes. So uh, in a second, I'm going to show you a quick video because you're going to need to make three paper airplanes. All right, this game is called Paper Plane Cornhole. And the way it's going to work, you can have one person playing, you could have five people playing. But the way it's going to work is one person, and Kale's going to be our volunteer here, is going to grab these three paper planes, and he's going to stand about five to ten feet away from the basket. So, Kale, I put this little dart, right? It's probably about five, seven feet, something like that. So, go ahead and stand up there. I would hold all three of the paper planes there. I would hold kill all three of the paper planes there. Thank you. And he's going to shoot one at a time, and he's going to get one point if it hits the laundry basket. He's going to get two points if it goes inside the laundry basket. After he shot all three of them, he's going to run, go get it, come back to the dart, and throw again. He's going to go for one minute and see how many points he can get. Are you ready, Kale? Are you sure? All right. Let's go for it. Ready? Oh, I'll do the timer here. Ready, set, go. All right, keep going, keep going, keep going. A little bit far on that one. Uh-oh, that's a rough one. Okay, got 45 seconds. Oh, no, casualty. All right. Going to shoot that one first? Almost. Oh, a little far. So those ones go a little far. Snuck a little bit. Ah, that's close. Here you go, you got uh, 30 seconds. Hustle, hustle, hustle. We got to get at least one point. Right. How far? You're not quite so hard. Okay. Or lower. Or lower. All right, we got uh, 15 seconds. And we got to work on our paper airplane throw. Here we go. Next year. Next year. Oh, last throw. Can he get a point? Oh, he got one point. So, he got one point. Now, when you go to Canvas, there on my home page, there's a section for field day. Um, there will say activity packet one, activity packet two. Um, each activity packet has five activities. So, so far, we have two sets, so there's ten. Every Friday, we're going to post a new five. So, overall, there's going to be about 15, 20 of these. Also, there's what's called practice plans. So there's practice plan number one, practice plan number two. If you look at this, that is practice plan number one. There's some uh, goals that you can write up here, and then there's a score sheet. And there's a, it's set up for you to do four different trials. So for the first one here, Kale got one. He put a one here. The next time he practices, maybe he decides to do it again tomorrow, he could put two or three if he improved. Okay, and then at the end, there's a, a rating there. You can rate this as one as a not fun or four as in the most fun, okay? Um, at the end, when we do field day, you're gonna have a score sheet, which I'll get you later, and you're gonna turn these in with at least four activities. Uh, if you do turn in all four, you get a really cool certificate saying you participate in field day. So we'll talk about that more as we get closer to May 8th. Um, Hope you guys try this one out. Now, I'm going to try to do about two of these videos, maybe three a week. We won't cover every activity, but on Canvas right now, you can find the first 10 activities if you want to go on there and check it out. Also, while you're doing this, uh, if you want to have your parents take pictures of you participating in these activities, send them to me through Canvas or through email. 
uh, then our SES Facebook site is going to be posting pictures of you guys um, doing field day activities. And those could be practice days. It doesn't have to be just on the May 8th day. Uh, we'll see you later and see you in a few days for the next activity.